As you know, our DITCOE has a multitude of programs. Um, even amongst us, it's we're doing so much innovation and you know program changes. And one of the big things during COVID, we did a computer sports specialist. That was a Harris County grant that I that I did that basically helped 108 students. It's still ongoing. Um, they did an 18 weeks training to be help desk uh, technicians. It came with all the vouchers, the practice exams. There's a career piece involved. So that was big. Um, we're expanding four different labs across HEC that will be actual hard labs. One of them is at West Loop, and that'll be a train the trainer kind of innovation ground where they'll they'll be exposed to all the material, all the, the cool toys, if you will, and, and learning practices, which will only impact DIT, but anyone at HEC. And the other three labs, one will be at Central, Northeast, and then at the Felix Fraga campus. So those will be state-of-the-art kind of Apple labs that will have the latest equipment. We're fortunate to have gotten a Apple fellow. So that's a second fellow that we have that's that's paid directly from Apple that works with HEC and the high school. So we will have an increasing um, outreach in terms of the high schools and things that we're doing on that front. Part of HC's mission is to also help uh, revamp its corrections education and the parole, parolees um, uh, training out there. So there's two locations we're looking at and we got close to $400,000 of funding to basically redo um, two of the location. One is, is, is a residential area at Tuscasita. Another one is um, the Gulfton uh, Juvenile um, location. And, and basically both of them will have Apple Labs, where students will learn anything about Apple, the ecosystem, the devices, and, and whatnot. And, and that training will then lead to three different areas. One is videography, kind of like a storytelling track. Another one would be more of a design track, so uh, Adobe, uh, Illustrator, and, and all that kind of track. And another one would be heavy on the coding side, programming. Apple has really gone all in with us. We are pretty much a, a huge pilot school for them. It's going to be something that will keep flourishing uh, over the years and will continue doing. So that's on the Apple side. Uh, another big announcement that you saw recently was a partnership with Intel. Definitely huge for us. And we're planning on doing a lot more with AI that we can't discuss right now. We are working on other vendors such as NVIDIA. Amazon as well. We have a lot of projects that we plan to do with them, sort of the same thing we're doing with Apple. We have an IT apprenticeship grant going on right now. And what it is, is 100 apprentices that we're trying to get placed with an employer. And part of the funding will have tuition. And that's the goal for the next three years to find some good employers and have qualified students reskill and be kept on the job. We're all just thrilled at just how much um, demand there's out there. We're getting a DIT success coach. It's going to be great for retention. Really excited about that. These labs that we're building out will we'll have a lot more support in terms of lab techs. And I do info sessions, by the way, once a month. And I go over all the programs that I just mentioned, and including sources of funding. And we have a career person that also is usually around that takes questions. I record everything. I do a follow-up uh, info session. If anybody is interested in that, I'd be happy to share that. Also send invites out and be part of this.